Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Lucky Corners in Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Yeah, well, uh, last time around, got some more stuff plumbed in for Iron Town up here. And, you know, got the electric uh, system coming in here. Working on the electric grid stuff up here, because that needs to be operational right away. Uh, right. Uh... What else do I need up here? Well, uh, I think what I need to do is get uh, get st some stuff built up here so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to need the roads to, uh, to construct. Uh, and that's underway. And I'm going to need uh, the infrastructure stuff up here. But first, it's winter. So, you know, we get to wait for some stuff to be even slower. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, what's that? Okay, I've got the heating plant down here. Yeah, okay. So, uh, the rail construction is, is ongoing here, and that is going to make some progress and that you know through the winter. Uh, now, let's just check in here on the... Uh, excitement here, which is the debt situation. Currently, about 3 million rubles are owed, uh, and 9.5 million are available for borrowing. So, uh, not too bad there, but we got 76k due monthly, right? And um, I bought a couple choppers, which is uh, why the uh, import is so high. Well, we had 162k uh, total net income in October, so uh, November is uh, it's going to be down. But uh, without the imports, it was still uh, pretty decent. So overall, uh, leaving aside the cost of importing steel and everything for this stuff, uh, we're doing okay. Uh, right, so uh, as things uh, progress here uh, and all this stuff gets built, uh, think you know we'll we'll have more stuff going on. But in the meantime, uh, we'll take a look here. Uh, let's observe the uh, aluminum area here, the box site. You can see that we've got fairly continual, uh, you know, transport into the storage here, right? Uh, which is bringing, uh, and we're, we're transporting from the mines pretty uh, consistently here, uh, into here, uh, which we're now, which we're feeding out into these guys, and... That's getting a pretty solid uh, amount of bauxite uh, going, and we're exporting it. Now, if we, we look here, uh, we're getting 78k, uh, or 76, 75k, call it, uh, rubles for each train load of processed bauxite. And that's, uh, that's continuing to do its thing. And overall, I'm pretty happy with how that's going. Uh, so, uh, overall, uh, we could be doing a lot worse. Now, it occurs to me that I really should get uh, a food industry online here. Uh, like a proper food industry. Uh, I mean, we're just, uh, we're collecting crops into, into here. Uh, but, we don't have uh, we don't have enough fields here to really do a huge amount, right? Uh, and it occurs to me that we really should have a lot more agriculture going on here uh, because food costs are going to get pretty expensive otherwise. So uh, it, it occurs to me that what I probably want to do is... Uh, build a distribution uh, collection and distribution point for the crops, uh, which has a pretty solid uh, uh, 
warehouse size and you know silo whatever and uh can can serve as a manufacturing uh hub or something for the food uh so what I think I, I need to do is uh, I'm going to need to be running tr uh, a train transport from wherever it's collecting to to wherever I'm doing the manufacturing, right? Uh, oh, we've got people with nowhere to live, too. Uh, yeah, that's right. No, it's... Uh, so I, I want to I take a look here. Uh, food production, uh, I'm going to need a fairly substantial food production uh, operation. Uh, where would I put it? I could co-locate it with uh, the existing settlement here. Yeah, 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 I could do that. I suspect, however, I will end up ultimately... Uh, causing myself uh, pain uh, on that. So where where could I where could I put that? Well, up around here seems like maybe in, in around here seems like it might not be a bad spot. Uh, up in here, I think, yeah. Uh, I think I can bust the people in, actually, to run the food uh, uh, plants. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, food process, food factory. Oh, it takes a lot of workers. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to want to have, have those. Uh, they produce maximum 20 tons of food per day. So, hmm... Yeah, that's uh, that's a thing, right? Okay. So I'm gonna want to have the people oh, close that. I probably want to have the people living over near the uh, the location, right? That might uh, that might seem seem kind of useful. Yeah. So I think maybe, you know what, let's uh, take a look at the resources uh, window here. So we have bauxite there, which we're already doing. Uh, wait, we have uranium over here? Oh, okay. Uh, we have oil all over the place. We have iron at Irontown, and we have coal over where we're exploiting it. So, uh, what was... That's coal over there. Okay. I think maybe over over here? For the uh, the food stuff, maybe? Or down here. You know what? Down here, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can make the food at, at Irontown. And then I can put a great big farming complex around this whole whole area here, right? Right. And then this is close enough that I could put uh, a bunch more... Uh, uh, housing and be able to and, and stick up a metro and just bring this stuff down this way right so or bus lines for that matter so i'm going to want uh well i'm probably going to want a train stop here so that's going to be a train cargo station yeah, that's going to be a, a cargo train station, which uh, hmm. Uh, 
I could put right about here. Yeah, okay, so I've put a cargo train station there. And then I go ahead and... Uh, if I take the big grain storage operation, I could put that here, right? Yeah. So if I put this here, okay, so that'll give me an input storage for the, uh, for the crops, right? Now, I don't consider this to be a cheat, this particular uh, grain storage, because if we take a look, it takes uh, a lot of uh, concrete, gravel, asphalt, right, and steel. Uh, so if you just take a look, 973 tons of concrete. And if we go in here and we look at this, uh, this takes uh, 111 tons of concrete, right? Uh, and it stores 800. And this stores uh, 11,000 and some. And if I find a calculator widget... Uh, of which I have at least one. Uh, right, so I found a calculator widget. So we've got 11,200, and we divide that by 800. So that's a 14 times uh, uh, increase in storage capacity. Um, but if we take and if we take nine seven three divided by one one one, so that's uh, an eight uh, almost nine times increase in cost. Now that would make sense that you'd get a little bit of an economy of scale, uh, but also this thing is huge, right? So and it, it, does it have a, a rail? No, it doesn't have a rail connection. Okay, but this thing is huge, right? And that is actually quite uh, quite useful. Uh, it, it takes up a lot of space compared to the silos and, and all of that. So, uh, an individual silo. Now, uh, I can go ahead and uh, grab a... I should be able to grab the um, food factory. And I should be able to put... Uh, I should be able to put a couple of them around here, right? Like, I mean, I should be able to put, should be able to put one here, right? Oh, come on. Um, do I have any mod food factories? Uh... Um... No. Okay. Uh, well, that's fine. Uh, oh, look, this is up to 270K up here. Uh, okay, let's uh, take a look up here. Um, oh, that's getting built. Okay. Oh, this. Let, let's take a look. Is, is there any more rail that is queued up? Um... Oh, it's down here. Uh, here, right? No, there's no more queued up rail. So I can queue these guys up. Yeah, for sure. And I'm going to need a rail line over...
over to this as well. So uh, I can plumb that in later though. Uh, right. 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 Um, yeah, okay. Well, no construction offices have a path there. Really? Yeah, I guess they don't. Yeah. Okay, well, that needs to just keep doing its thing. Uh, this is... Well, that's moving along quite nicely. I think I want to build up a, a fair chunk in there. Uh, right. Um... Oh, okay. Right. Well, stuff is getting built, and that is what I need it to do. Right. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's getting built. It's going to take a while. Uh, so if, if you're wondering, uh, you can speed up construction of uh, remote locations if you set up a a depot or a, a warehouse, uh, an open storage in a warehouse and a stockpile nearby, and then change your uh, construction sources to there. Yeah. Uh, and maybe, you know, you could build a local construction office and uh, put, you know, local, uh, uh, you know, locate some trucks and stuff there and, and just have it doing its thing. But uh, I'm not going to do that for this one. Uh, right. Uh, mostly because once the uh, main roads are built uh, and I get uh, technical services online, this won't be that far, uh, realistically. So uh, it'll be slower, but not that slow, really. Um... Oh, right. I also needed to get a uh, sewage outfall thingy here. Uh, and that was going to need some uh, land works here. Uh, no, that's uh, here. Level terrain from center. Uh... Okay, so if I do that, I should be able to put a sewer out discharge. Oh, that's under that's underwater. Duh. Uh, level terrain from center. Yeah. And level this terrain. Yeah. Okay. And flatten that. Yeah, okay. Now let's try that. Uh, grab a sewage discharge. Ah, yes, we can build one there now. Okay. Now that means that we can... Uh, 
No, what we can do is... What are we doing here? Water. Big pumping station. Water loading, unloading. Big pumping station. Ah. Uh, okay, right. Well, in that case, I just need over here a sewage loading and unloading station, which can go, I suppose, right here. Yeah, I can go right there. Uh, right, and then I'll need a sewer pipe, um, which goes like this. Yep. Okay. Uh, that will give me the ability to deal with the sewage. So, uh, at least initially, uh, until I build a sewer, a sewage plant, uh, Right. Okay, so far, so good. Ah, we're waiting for... Ah, we're waiting for the uh, Dewey there. And we're up to 500k here already. Uh, yeah, that's actually... That's, uh, that's quite good. What's the uh, exports uh, uh, look like? Uh, we are exporting... Uh, Bauxite and coal at a pretty good clip. Yeah. You know, if we're going to keep uh, keep up with that kind of uh, uh, thing, maybe I should build another uh, residence or something over here. Yeah, maybe I should. Um, I'm going to need one of these. You know what? Let's... Uh, Let's stick one of these. Really, I could stick one of those right, right in here. I really could. Um, ah, I've got heat up there. Okay. No. Oh. Uh, you know what? Build it there. Yeah. Okay. We go, no, in here. Build that. Yeah. Okay. How many people don't have a flat? 300 and some. Uh, so if I added, uh, Yeah, so I had another couple hundred in the in the region there. Uh, yeah, that that seems like it'd be okay. Because we've got a basically unlimited demand for workers down here to to run here, which will fill these guys, uh, right? Uh, which will fill this guy, which will then export from and all that jazz, right? Okay. So we'll definitely do that. Right. And then we'll see how quickly the the whole operation here uh, happens, right? Um, where's the... Ah, we got uh, workers coming here. You know what? I need to need a bridge across this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a bridge. Should build a bridge. Uh, I just want to uh, see if I can. No, that's what I thought. Okay. Um. So a road bridge, 
Uh, I could build a build one of these. from back here, right? Is that tall enough to get over? Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, no. Bridge. So we do this. Why is it insisting on building the pillars? Oh. Um, no, that's not the kind of bridge I want to build. Okay. Uh, trust? No. Beam bridge? Yeah. No. Um, yeah, let's build a brick bridge. That's that's cooler. Okay. So we do this, and then we come across here, and then we come across like that. That doesn't look like enough clearance, does it? No, it does not. Okay. Uh, what kind of bridge can we go? Go with here. Prefab bridge. What what's that gonna look like? Oh, and this one can bend. Okay. So we start no. We start from here. We need to come up this high. And then we need to come out like this. Yeah. And then we need to um, we need to bend around like that. Yeah, okay. Well, that's going to need a road that comes up to here. Yeah. And a road that comes out like this. And a road up like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Build it. Right. So we'll build that and this. Okay. Yeah, so I want another uh, rail crossing here. So that's about the only way I'm going to do that. Now, does that have enough clearance to be plausible? Yeah, I think it does. Okay. Right. Well. That will keep on, on going. Uh, winter's just about done. Uh, things are making progress up this way. Are they? Yep, that one's done. That one's under construction. Oh, that one's done. Okay. Um, no. Do that. Do that. 
and do that one. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, we're paving that stretch of road, so that's good. Right? Okay. Well, things continue apace up there. And it's just uh, doing its thing. Okay. Well. Uh, where? Why don't I just route the uh, rail line here? Yeah. So I'm going to need... Uh, a rail line that comes out roughly like this. Really? Actually, no. I'm going to want a rail line that comes up roughly uh, around this way. Why can't we go across that? Really? Oh, there's a Ah, can I get it through on this side? No. Okay, so we can come up like that. And we can come from here. Not from there, we can't. Uh, we can come up like this. Ah, do this. And do this. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that can come around like that. And I can take that back and do that sanely. So it actually connects, right? Yeah. Okay. And then come out to, okay, now I need to redo that, come out to here, and this can come up to here, right? Yeah. So I'm going to need a crossover here, right? Or do I do an, a loopy here? I do a loop here. That's what I do. Okay. So we have that. Comes around like that. That sticks out enough I can see it. And we do that. Yeah. And we do this. Do this. Yeah. And do that. Yeah. Yeah, do a loop there. And then this can come up and do that. Okay. Build it. Right. Uh, now we grab the construction office. Yeah. Come down here and build this and this okay that should get a fair chunk of that underway yeah okay so th that has completed good now that's complete yeah okay well, build that piece too. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that will continue uh, moving along in the background. Uh, right. Well, let's just take a, a gander in here. Well, that's going to be doing another export soon. Right. Well, let's just go in here and uh, take a, uh, a look around. Okay. Well, why don't we...
pay off uh, some of these. Or I could just leave them. Yeah, if I just leave them, and they'll start dropping off on their own. It'd probably make more sense to pay off the bigger ones, but... Eh, no, they've still got... You know what? If I ignore the debt now and just let it pay itself off... Yeah, that's probably the thing to do. Oh, I also want to get this technical services built. Yeah. Okay, now down, down here. Okay. That's done. Okay. Well, we'll start building the bridge. Yeah. Oh, and I can build this. So let's just observe this and see how quick it uh, builds. I don't, I'm not worried about the 80-some workers that are going to hang out here uh, because we've got unemployment, right? So uh, having them be employed there doesn't seem like it's all that much of a problem. Do I have the radio station fully staffed? Well, it's not fully staffed, but uh, I have it wide open for what's allowed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the meantime... Right, we have stuff coming in here. I've got room for one more of these things over here, too, I think. Which I might just do. Oh, what? All the dumpers are committed up here, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they are. Okay. Okay, so how's this going to work? It's going to be... Yeah, okay, that'll be fine. Uh, right. Well, I don't think there's much more to do in this, uh, this episode. Uh, I'm going to try and wind it forward a bit, maybe, and uh, get some stuff constructed, maybe time-lapse some stuff. Uh, I haven't decided fully... Uh, but it seems like it might not be the worst uh, worst idea to do that. Well, the warehouse is uh, is constructing, so you know that's cool. Um, Right. Well, anyway. Uh, I guess... Uh, oh, while I'm uh, uh, waiting here, I'll uh, queue these guys up as well. Yeah. Well, anyway. The, uh, uh, there isn't much to, uh, to see waiting for this stuff to build, so... Uh, uh, realistically, uh, I, I should stockpile stuff and bring stuff in that way, but I'll just let the choppers do their thing. Uh, get the... Uh, is the electrical infrastructure all constructed? Uh, there. There. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, the electrical infrastructure is constructed. So, hmm, other stuff can start to 
to happen up there. Well, anyway, uh, I might uh, I might do a time lapse or otherwise wind time forward. Uh, I'm not sure. Pretty sure I said that last time, and um, I wasn't sure then either. So you know. But anyway, uh, I'm going to put the cut here for sure. Uh, there's no reason to keep fiddling around here uh, with the miscellaneous stuff. So uh, I'll come back next time either with a time skip or, or something else, uh, which allows uh, uh, some actual progress. Uh, as I want to... Actually, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, turning on uh, purchasing, uh, construction via purchase, uh, and not using it for most things, but... Uh, using it just as a means to speed up the progress in uh, in some of these circumstances. Uh, that that's uh, you know something I'm considering. Uh, I I mean uh, 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 you know I think I could go in here and uh, you know realistic mode turn that off right. Uh, I might. I'm, I'm still pondering that I'm, uh, uh, it's uh, it, it feels like kind of a cheat uh, but uh, uh, keep in mind that once you've got your uh, rubles uh, uh, going up relatively well uh, then it's not really that uh, that much of a thing and and here's the thing uh, if you uh, construct something with rubles, you end up buying the resources in, right? Uh, whereas if you construct it yourself, uh, you're uh, you're saving the money, right? And that uh, it's a trade-off, right? Anyway, uh, enough uh, rambling on that. I'm going to I'm going to put the cut, and I'll be back next time, either after a time skip or continuing the same stuff that's already going on. Anyway. Uh, I'll mention on the way out, I do have a Patreon. The link will be in the description. If for some odd reason you feel like you want to support the channel, it's an option. Uh, otherwise, well, you, you know, you can ignore the link in the description, right? Uh, you know, I'm not going to try and strong arm you. Like, uh, it's not like you can reach through the screen, right? And all that said, see you back next time.